Hello. Been a week since the last upload. And also this is the first video I'm uploading after 1k subs. I really wanted to come up with some really cool video ideas for a 1k special but I'm sorry I couldn't do it. So I can only thank you guys for the support you've been giving me. Anyway I wanted to revisit one of the most popular videos I've made a year ago. The unit tier list video. Of course the game didn't receive any new updates so in theory nothing has really changed. But I believe I've made a few mistakes when I made the video. And of course because there are still no real standards for skirmish matches and maps the new tier list would still be inaccurate in some situations. But I'm gonna try to make it slightly better. So. There's the updated version. I'm gonna explain what is changed, and why I changed them. First change is catapults. I have no idea what I was thinking when I didn't put them at number one unit. These guys are truly broken. Doesn't matter if you have one catapult. Or five of them. Or five hundred of them. I mean if you have that many you've pretty much won the game. Catapults in Stronghold are like nuclear weapons in real world. They are overpowered and everyone's afraid of them. And actually if you're unfamiliar with online matches they are the only banned units online. And for a good reason of course. The only counter to catapults, are catapults. Next change are knights. And it's a huge change too, I moved them from B to S+. Plus. Number 2 units in the game. The reason why they were placed so low was because of their insanely high cost. 400 gold for stables and a lot more for the weapons as well. But for that price you're actually getting a really nice unit. Almost immune to archer fire and the fastest units in the game. And you know how good mobility is in this game. So their high damage, high health points and mobility would make them the best melee unit in the game. But of course they cost a lot more than every other unit. That shouldn't matter because most of the time on balanced maps you end up with infinite economy anyway, so might as well go for knights. Next up we have pikemen. I thought A is good enough but now I think they are better than macemen and assassins. I'm still not sure whether they're better than crossbowmen or not. But I'm guessing crossbowmen have a lot more use cases and of course ranged units always end up higher than melee units. Even though pikemen are really strong against them. Anyway I covered pikemen in another video so the reasonings are the same. They are really good against arrows and are quite cheap. They are really good units to protect your damage units and that's why they are S. Next one is a really small change. On previous video I said assassins and macemen are tied. But they're not, assassins are a lot better because of their invisibility. They have a lot more uses because of that. Macemen are still a better choice if you're against AIs but generally I consider assassins a much better unit. And then we have Arabian archers. I put them next to archers because I thought most people loved using them. But in reality they cost too much gold and European archers are always better. Anyway there's another video explaining the differences. You see all these videos were a setup for me to redo the tier list. Lastly we have siege towers. No one really asked for this one but I think B is too unfair for siege towers. Because they are really good at their job unlike ladderman. And they are a nice combination with pikemen and macemen. So same order, different tiers. Not a big deal. So there you have it. I hope this tier list satisfies you guys. I just couldn't sleep well with catapults and knights being placed so low so I had to make this video. And speaking of tier lists, there's more to come. So see you guys in the next tier list video.